What's good guys and welcome to the learning center here at Elementary FX. For this episode, we will be doing TradingView 101 and our TradingView is a free web-based charting platform where we do our analysis here at Elementary FX before we place our trades or orders on MetaTrader 4. So if you've seen some of our analysis or other educational videos, you'll know that we do our analysis on a chart and this is where the chart comes from, tradingview.com. Uh, for today, I just want to go through the different tools you can use so you can get used to it uh, to analyze your different setups and potential trades. But before we go into the charts, uh, I just want to introduce you to the homepage of tradingview.com. This is the homepage and uh, if you would arrive on this page, you can see that we have the top offers of all time of the month of the week or for today. And essentially what this means is that these are the people who have contributed significantly uh, in the form of posting their analysis or different trade setups as you can see below. We have the different types of analysis by different authors and this is where the top ones make it to the home page. If you look to the right you can see that we have a market summary for indices, forex, all the way up to bitcoin and, and bonds. And if you were to scroll down you can see that we have an economic calendar which is uh, quite important because you want to look uh, for potential potential periods where you don't where you don't want to be involved in the market because of news releases so this is uh, something you want to keep an eye out for before you before you place your orders or analyze any charts so this is the home page of trading view so now let's move on to a chart if you to enter a chart you can just click on the ticker on top and for today we'll go through the euro usd um trading view offers analysis uh, offers charts for ev almost everything you can search for apple stock right here uh, even Bank of America and even the VIX which is a CFD but for today we will go through Euro USD and if you click Forex uh, you can see that we have many different options um, because these are the different different charts offered by different brokers we have Owenda's charts we have FXCM's charts and we have IDC's charts so for today let's just look at IDC Euro USD on this is the Euro USD on the four hour chart as you can see right here, um, these are the different tools to the left. And uh, but before I go through that, I just want to go through the top area right here. Uh, this is where you can search for your other chart. You, if you want to switch charts, you can just uh, type in the different uh, ticker right there. But for today, let's go through Euro USD. And if you look to the right, we have the different uh, time frames from monthly all the way down to a minute. Uh, you can even just uh, click it and change it here. Let's say you want to change it to thirty minutes. Uh, to the right of that, you have the different um, you have the different um ways you can look at a chart. You have the bar chart right here. You have candles. You have follow candles. You have um, you have Heikenashi, which is uh, used um commonly during the Tokyo sessions. You have line charts and uh stuff like that. But uh, here at Elementary FX, we use we do our analysis using candlesticks. So let us just stick with candlesticks. To the right of that, you can see that we have the settings right here you can change you can change the different colors you can change your candlesticks to different colors the borders and the wicks of it uh, you can scale it left or right uh, you have the background colors we prefer a white background because it's uh, easier to look at it's more pleasing to us to look at uh, you can also change the time zones uh, we are based in singapore so we are plus 8 gmt that's why we picked the um this uh, time zone right here trading um, not much to do here events and alerts. This is something that's good because you can set you can set uh, alerts when price reaches a certain area You can also uh, look if you look here You can see that it has a show economic events on chart. If you were to click on that it will show you the future economic um, Events that are happening. Let's say for right here. We have the eurozone unemployment rate before that we have a uh, real personal spending we have um ism prices paid so this is uh, something that you can use if you don't want to look at uh if you don't want to look at other economic calendars let me just get rid of that so this is uh the settings for the chart if you look all right of it you can see that you can compare this symbol the euro usd you can compare this pair to other pairs you can compare it to um let's say pound dollar and it will just uh, compare the different moves of uh, the dollar pound dollar to the euro dollar so this is uh, something we we don't really use here but uh, it's good to know that it's uh, available here to the right of it you have the indicators and this is where you can use all the in indicators built-in indicators and even indicators built 
by different contributing authors. Let's say you want to use a moving average. You want to use a 200, uh, 200 moving average to figure out the trend. You can just change this to 200. And you can see that price is above the moving average. Therefore, it's uh, safe to say that it's in an uptrend. You can even change the color to, uh, to red or black and stuff like that. If you want other indicators, you can. Uh, for this chart, we already have the RSI at the bottom of the chart. But let me just show you how we can uh, look for it. You just click the RSI and it comes on. So even uh, Bollinger Bands and stuff like that. So let's just uh, clear this chart. This is um, this is the indicator section right here. Uh, like I said, we have um, built-in indicators, and also you can use uh, indicators that have uh, been uploaded by different users. So let's say this is the most um, popular indicator with uh, about fourteen thousand likes. And if you to click that, if you to click that, you'll see that it appears on your chart. Um, before using indicators, I would suggest that you you actually know how to use it before you trade it. So uh, with built-in indicators, you also have the public library where users post their indicators and you can see the popularity by the amount of likes. So this is uh, something good you can use. Uh, this is the alerts right here. Um, let me, I can sh I'll show you that. I'll show you how to use that later. So this is the top of the um, this is the top of the uh, the chart where you can uh, control the different settings. Now to the important things, this side, the left side of the screen, this is these are the tools that you can use to analyze your chart. If you look at the first one, you can see that you have your cursor right here. You can change it from a cross to a dot to an arrow or a razor. But here we prefer to use a cross because it's uh, easier to look at. Below that, you can you have your different trend lines in the form. In the form of a trend line or you have your trend line by angle your horizontal line which we use a lot and one thing i want to let you guys uh, take note of before we move on is that you'll notice that some of these uh, tools have um have we favorited these tools and this this is uh, where this is where our favorites go our favorites go to the top because uh, these are the ones that we use more often we use uh, the trend line the vertical horizontal arrows our fib retracement extension we have a rectangle uh, we have different icons like an up and down we have our patterns and we have uh, this neat tool which i'll show you later and also the date and price range so let's go through each um, row let's go through each one one by one so i've gone through this this is where you have your trend lines let's say you're looking for let's say you're looking for a move like this you have an uptrend and you're looking for price to break you're looking for price to break this trend line before you go short. So this is a this is a trend line, and um, that's why we favorite. Uh, that's why we favorited this also because we like to use this to draw different lines to to uh, figure out where price could potentially hit in the future. Below that, you have your different tools like the pitchfork, uh, something we don't use here. Um, we have the different gun boxes square we this is this is the ones you use the fib retracements and the extensions you also have your fib time zones your spirals and circles um but here at elementary effects we only use two of that the retracement and the extension below that you have uh, different annotation tools you have the brush you have the rectangles even the triangle we use the rectangles uh here because we we like to um point out potential zones where potential zones where price might reverse so if you've uh, found the zone which you like you can just use this rectangle to see to visualize where price might go before eventually reversing the next one is a uh, more annotation tools you have the text where you can write different stuff like um, buy here or, or more analysis like our different analysis resistance and stuff like that so this is a neat tool which you can use we also have a uh, we also favorited this mark up and uh, mark down so as you can see it's favorited here we use this to identify potential um potential zones of rejection and if i'll just show you an example we can draw a line here and we can see that price has rejected here 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 and uh, so basically this is how we use our our arrows you'll notice you'll notice that this is a free account so that's why pops uh we have our uh, pop-ups of our uh, advertisements um trading view offers a paid paid version of this but um i don't think uh it's 
there's there's much of a difference besides the ads. Uh, so that's maybe something you can look into in the future. So this is the uh, different annotations. Below we have the patterns. We have the X X A B C D, which is uh, what we like to use when we identify patterns. Um, like this, we have a uh, different patterns like this, and uh, we have the A B C D patterns, the three drive patterns, the head and shoulders patterns, stuff like that. And um, Elliot waves. If you're into that, um, Marco does a lot of Elliot waves analysis, so uh, he uses this quite often. Below that, we have uh, the diff this is a neat tool right here, guys. This is a uh, this is something that Trading View offers, which is very helpful to many traders. So let's say we're using let's say we're looking. They have a long position and a short position. So let's say um, you think price is going to come down here, and you're looking to buy up by by the pair at this zone right here. You're looking to buy it up here. So you can place your long position right here and you can measure out your risk to reward ratio. You can have your targets up here and you can have your stops possibly below this low right here. So that you can so that shows you what are your target number of pips um, and um number the number of pips for your stop loss. In this case we have 155 for your target and about 122 for our stops. This gives us a risk to reward ratio of 1.27 which is obviously better than uh, one to one. So this would be a decent entry if your analysis lines up with this. So this is how you use, you can even use it for the for a short position. Let's say you want to go short here. You can uh, change your change your stops and your targets all the way up to the bottom. So this is um this is a neat tool that we use quite often here. Another neat tool would be this one. It's called the date and price range. You can see that Let's say you want to measure this move right here from uh, this swing low to this swing high. So you take out your, you can use your date and price range from this swing low to this swing high. And you can see that it took about 10 days for price to rise up about 210 pips. As you can see on top of this area right here, uh, about 10, 10 days for 210 pips. So that's a neat tool to measure out the different moves that price has been making over a certain time frame and over a certain pair so that's something cool that you can use in your analysis uh, below that it's just a zooming in and this is something like uh, this measuring tool is the same as um is the same as this uh it's the same as this uh price range date and price range right here i forgot to go through this right here we have a uh, different annotation tools different icons where you can place different uh different icons on your chart we don't really use much of it so uh, it's it's uh, nothing much to go through. So this is the these are the different different tools you can use to have your analysis on a chart. And uh, if you some some of our members have been asking how we scroll up and down because um you can only scroll left and right. If you try and scroll up and down, you can't really. All you have to do is um this is the price price of the pair. All you have to do is click on it. Left click, it, left click it and just scroll up or down and you're free to move anywhere on your chart. And if you want to go back to the normal chart, all you have to do is reset the chart. So that's quite simple. Just You can just, uh, this is what you call scaling. You can scale the chart to different sizes and uh, you can reset it back. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you have your zooming out or if you have a mouse, you can just uh, scroll out or scroll in. So that's something you can use. Um, I also want to go through this button right here. This addition sign, this is what you call a price alert. You can have an alert right here. If price crosses this area, be it like this, be it like this, or like this, you will get the notification. So that is something that is um, worth looking at on, on our trading view. Let me just delete that. All right, so one more thing I want to go through will be the right click. If you right click this, uh, it, it comes up with this um, this screen right here. You can see that we have used this to reset the chart as in when you scale the chart and you want it to go back to normal, you can just press reset chart. You can change the symbol interval from here. You can add this to your watch list, which is basically your portfolio where you will be moni monitoring the different, um, different charts and different pairs. Uh, you can insert indicators here instead of using this right here. You can uh, compare. So basically, right-clicking this would be the same as using the ones on top. 
um, also if you to click on a tool let's say you have the arrow tool you will see that this uh, this pops up right here this is the setting tools for this individual uh, this individual arrow and you can change the color to red or black or stuff like that you can even change the width of it the thickness and um and the different uh, you can have it dotted or perforated like this but we just prefer to stick with our conventional blue arrow and you can um use uh, alerts right here or you can uh, copy and paste it stuff like that you can lock it if let's i just locked it so if you wanted to move it you couldn't you wouldn't be able to and you can unlock it and you can delete it right here so this has been uh training view 101 um let me just see if there's anything else to go through ah uh, yes one more thing that i would like to go through is that this uh hidden tools right here which is something we like to we like to use quite often um i know i like to use it but uh, marco doesn't like to use it so we have our magnet tool and what it does is that it it will um be magnetized and be attracted to the more to the most uh, obvious points let's say we're looking at this move right here now i'm not using my um my magnet tool however if i switch it on you can see that price will be instantly attracted to the bottom of the wick here and price will be attracted to the top of this right here and this is useful for using fibonacci retracements let's say you wanted to have a retracement of this swing low to this swing high you could be very exact with your analysis using this magnet tool so we have our swing low to swing high right here and you can see that price is um at the exact top and the bottom of the wicks and uh, as you can see in this analysis price has come down to 382 and rejected it so this is something that you can use in your analysis um, but I would have to say it's quite annoying when you have your your wrist to rot out because if you move it right or left let me just uh, show it to you if you move it right or left you can see that price is attracted to all these different different wicks by itself so it's uh, something you want to consider turning off before you use this tool right here the next one is uh, stay in drawing mode and what that means is that now that I'm not in drawing mode you can see that if I were to use this if I drew if I drew an arrow right here if I draw an arrow right here I wouldn't be able to draw another arrow however if I stayed in drawing mode I draw I'll draw an arrow right here if I draw I can if I click it again I can draw another arrow and another arrow so that means that I am uh, able to draw I'm able to draw without clicking the arrow tool all the time so this is uh this is something important that we use uh which you can use in your analysis uh if you want to have a look at um at the different tools that we favorited you can just see here we have our trend line this is for you to um possibly if you want to replicate our analysis you can use the different tools that we favorited the ones that we use more often in your analysis we have the trend line which is this one we have our vertical lines we have this horizontal line to mark out potential resistance or support right here we have arrows and like i said fib retracements and fib extensions we also have uh, this try this uh, rectangle right here to mark out potential zones uh, we have our we have our mark ups and downs to show potential areas where price has rejected previously before we also have our patterns and we also have our long and short positions for our risk to reward and lastly we have our price ranges so these these are the different tools that we use to um to analyze our trades and more importantly we look at this this view right here to do our analysis so this has been the learning center we have gone through training view 101 i hope you guys have learned something and um really training view is very simple to use if you get the hang of it um it would be good if you could also use training view because um we post our analysis on here once in a while uh also one more thing if you wanted to share your analysis you can have if you wanted to share your analysis with us on our telegram group all you have to do is click it here click this um, camera button it comes the the url will appear you can either copy the link and paste it to our telegram chat or you can save the image into your hard drive or your computer so uh this is how you save your image or share it if you look to your right you can share it to twitter it shows you the account this uh this trading view account is linked to um elementary fx so this is where we share our chart sometimes and uh if you want to publish your idea like i said this is where like i said uh, at the start um we have different authors who post their analysis 
you can post your your analysis right here on trading view as a as a contributing author all you have to do is click this publish idea and in the case of this we have euro usd let's say we have a potential short opportunity and you can give your reasoning here and you can say that's short and uh, it will appear on on the on on the pair and many people will look at it look at analysis and possibly give you some feedback so i think i've covered most of it i there's nothing much here besides uh, the, the chat room right here personal messages right here your alerts and notifications uh, as you can see these are some of our ideas that we've posted and uh, some of the some of the traders here have liked it so so that's a, a good tool you can use to pu publish your ideas to share it with other other traders all right this has been a uh, trading view 101 i want to thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you in the next video guys